Hi, this is Scott Trudeau. In this tutorial, I'm going to use Adobe Acrobat 11 to turn this PDF into a fillable form. But in this case, we wish to use drop down boxes in order for the end user to select choices for this form. Let's go ahead and take a look how to do this. First thing I did was I went ahead and opened up a PDF. You can see it's a static PDF. There's nothing the end user can input into this form. So we'd like to create a form out of it. In order to do this, you will want to click on the Tools menu option, scroll down to Forms, and I'm simply going to choose Create. I can choose from scratch or template or the existing form, which is for the existing document, which is what I would like to do. I select Next. I'm going to use the current document and continue. It's going to tell me that the form needs to be saved, and I'll go ahead and do that. I'll save it right on my desktop. And it goes through and it scans the file and it automatically inputs text boxes into our form. Now, I, and that may be fine, but I wish to use drop down boxes instead. I wish to use defined choices for the end user. So I'm just going to drag with the arrow tool found across the top, drag a big selection across the four form field areas and delete those. Now it might be that you have a more complex form and you don't wish to delete all the other text fields that were found and created and that's fine. You can just uh, click and choose those text fields that you wish to customize into drop down form fields. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my task area. Again this is found in your forms editing menu and I'm going to choose to add a new field. In this case I'm going to choose to use a drop down field select the drop down selection and I'm going to hover right over customize your car in fact I think I'm going to even zoom in a little bit so now that I've zoomed in I'm going to drag a box under select interior color and when I let go I can name the box and in this case I'll put interior color and it's a good idea not to use spaces or special characters in your field name in case at some point in the future you wish to send this data into a database. I am going to visit the All Properties uh, area of the dialog box. So now my drop down properties open. Now if you happen to close that little yellow heads up display, um, it's fine. You can just simply double click on the form field. So from here I'm going to give the drop down box some options. I'm going to select options. And this is where I define the choices. So for interior color, perhaps I'll do red. And for an export value, I'll place red as the export value as well. Blue, we'll define the export value as blue also. And uh, I think I'll do white. Export value is white. And maybe tan. Now, why do I have to fill out both the item and the export value? Well, the item is the choice that is logical to the end user. The export value can be the same thing as the item value, but it could also be some kind of number. Perhaps uh, there is a number of the color that's attached to the export value that the database understands. So I could place tan, but maybe you have a skew for that specific color you can type in the SKU and export that as the database. The end user will see TAN, but what gets exported is the SKU associated with it. Now, if you wish to choose a specific color as the first choice, you can go ahead and click on that. And there's no reason to check spelling for a drop down box because your choices have been predefined. So white, because white is selected in blue, should be my default value. I'm going to go ahead and click close, and we're going to preview what we have so far. So if we preview this, the end user will be able to select the drop-down box, decide which color they wish to input into that field. I'm going to go back to edit, because I think I want to do a little more massaging to this field. I'm going to double-click the field. I'm going to go to its appearance. I think I'll give it a border color. I'm going to select the border color and notice down at the bottom it's selected as transparent. I'll uncheck that. 
And then we're all done. We have a nice dark border color, change its thickness to medium. And I think I'll increase the text size just a little bit. I'll go ahead and close this out. Let's preview what we have so far. You can see now we have a blue interior choice and the end user will be able to input their choice by using the drop down box. So I would go ahead and continue dragging those out in the other field. So I just choose edit and add new field. We want to add a drop down menu. We can come in and drag out an additional drop down menu and go through the same process that I just showed you. You can also copy and paste the field as well. So one way to do that is to alt drag a field out and when you alt drag the field out it will duplicate that field. Then you can double click on it, go to its general tab, you want to make sure you change its name otherwise you'll get two interior values submitted. So in this case we'll change this to select stereo and go to its options and change the options that the end user will input into the form field. So that is how you add combo boxes to your form. Now keep in mind you can mix and match all these different types of fields and if you ran the form wizard there might be some fields there that you don't wish to delete and convert. You wish to leave those alone and that's fine as well. So again I'm Scott Trudeau and visit scotttrudeau.com for more tutorials.